Good morning, everyone. We'll get started in just a second here. Okay, welcome. We are providing Spanish interpretation for today's hearing. To listen to the hearing in either English or Spanish, everyone will need to select a language at the bottom of your screen. Click on the globe icon and then select either English or Spanish. I'll give everybody just a second to do that. And the slide on the screen shows how to do that. Okay, my name is Jenny Noonan, and I'm the Director of Policy Analysis and Communications in EPA's Office of Air Quality Planning and Standards. And for a few moments today, I'm going to be chairing the session of the public hearing. We're having some technical difficulties, and our other chair, David Cuzzy, will be joining us momentarily. But until then, I wanted to um, thank you for taking the time out of your day to share your comments on EPA's proposal to reduce ethylene oxide emissions from commercial sterilization facilities. This proposal, which EPA announced on April 11th, 2023, would significantly strengthen and update Clean Air Act standards for ethylene oxide, also referred to as ETO, emitted into the air from commercial sterilizing facilities also called commercial sterilizers. The proposed rule is estimated to cut emissions of ETO from these facilities by 80% when the rule is implemented. And I also just want to um, take note of the, um, the, pub the virtual public hearing statement here uh, uh, on the screen, this, if folks would like to take a look at that um, while we're continuing. Now I'd like to ask our other panelists to introduce themselves on the panel are, Jonathan, you wanna go first? Yes, thank you, Jenny. My name is Jonathan Witt. I'm an environmental engineer in EPA's Office of Air Quality Planning and Standards. And our other panelist? Yeah, thank you, Jenny. I'm Matt Woody. I'm a physical scientist in the Office of Air Quality Planning and Standards at the US EPA. Great, thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, Matt. We are also joined today by a transcriptionist who will produce a written transcript of today's hearing. We will add the transcript to the public docket for this rulemaking and we'll carefully consider your comments as we develop a final rule. Before we begin hearing from you, we have a few ground rules and housekeeping items to review to make sure today's hearing runs smoothly. First, as it says on the slide, before, uh, first, EPA is committed to an environment of mutual respect and safety. We want to hear your views on the proposed rule today. However, the EPA will not tolerate harassment, discrimination, intimidation, inappropriate language or images, or sustained disruption of the public hearing. EPA expects everyone in participating in this hearing, including registered speakers, attendees, and those of us on this panel, to conduct themselves in a respectful and civil manner. We will monitor and moderate this virtual event to ensure that common standards of decency are upheld. Please note that by registering for this event, you are agreeing and participating in this event, you are agreeing to abide by the ground rules of the virtual hearing. So I'm just gonna pause and see if David Cuzzy has joined us and he has. So with that, I thank you all for coming. And um, I'd like to turn things over to David and also recognize that Tom, Tomas Carbonell has joined us as well to provide some opening remarks uh, when uh, the time is appropriate. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. And I apologize for that. We had a little technical difficulties this morning. Uh, as Jenny said, my name is David Cuzzy, and I'm the Deputy Director of the Sector Policies and Programs Division in the Office of Air Quality Planning and Standards. And I understand you've met both the other panelists. And so with that, I'm going to, I'm pleased to introduce uh, Tomas Carbonell, the Deputy Assistant Administrator for Stationary Sources in EPA's Office of Air and Radiation for some opening remarks. Um, thank you, David, and, and good morning, everyone. Um, as David mentioned, my name is Tomas Carbonell. I'm the Deputy Assistant Administrator 
for Stationary Sources and EPA's Office of Air and Radiation. Um, I just want to thank you for attending today's public hearing to share your comments on this proposed rule uh, to reduce ethylene oxide from commercial sterilization facilities. Uh, this proposal advances this administration's commitment to securing environmental justice and protecting public health, including in communities that are most exposed to toxic chemicals like ethylene oxide. Since announcing this proposal, we've been talking to stakeholders, and just yesterday evening, we held an, inf an informational webinar attended by several hundred people. This public hearing being held over the next three days uh, gives us a chance to hear from you, and we really appreciate your taking time out of your day and look, to look forward to hearing your thoughts on the proposed rule. Just as a reminder, um, the comment period for the proposal closes on June 12th, um, and while many of you are here to speak to us today, we also encourage you to submit your comments in writing um, we'll take all comments we, we get, whether given uh, in-person